Hi everybody, welcome. This is Lexi over at the Podunk Paper File. Um, do you have lots of scraps? Um, yeah, me neither. I don't have any. Um, I've been doing a lot of uh, projects lately on the side. Um, like I made a food journal for myself and I just added like all these foodie items and whatever. Like anyway, I have a ton of scraps. Um, right now that are like this they're pretty they're fairly large scraps so i thought that maybe we could do a few things with the scraps um the first thing that i want to do is get a larger piece squared off and then i thought maybe we could make a cute envelope so i'll just show you how that's done okay i'm making some stuff with scraps will you go get dressed please and dry off all right, so the first thing that we're gonna do, I'm just taking one of my larger scraps and um, I want to make it into a square. So the easiest way to do that is to fold your corner like this. And then I'm gonna grab my bone folder and then you trim this off this side. You can use your guillotine or whatever, but I just figure, you know what, Junk journals are junky, aren't they? All right, so now that we have our basic square shape, this guy keeps rolling away on me. So does this one, I'm gonna put all these over here for a second. You just take one side and fold it over like this. And then you take another side, fold it over the same way, like this. And I try to make this and this even, so um, if you look very closely, this, I have this lined up and the bottom lined up on the line down here, and this is lined up on the center. So this fold is approximately on this square, so I want this fold to be approximately there on my thing. It's going to be an envelope. Will you go get dressed, please? And then we'll just Levi, and will you, you know please? What? Can you use anything, or can I go tinker with my car for a minute? Go tinker. I'm Dad. good. We'll use. Dad, so, so. I was. Gravel. My gravel was about to make a thing, but it was a box. But he wasn't. He just oh. gave me one of his old cases. To make uh, the shock towers in the rough, filling all the holes, and so I'm just making panels like templates to use. Mm -hmm. Okay, have fun. Love you. <laughs> and then see, so once I had it like this, I'm folding this back because um, I'm actually kind of experimenting. So yes, if you fold this little thing open like that, you can then make this either a single pocket where you can just have one pocket here um, or you could open this up and... Let me think. Oh, I did this backwards. It's okay. So I'm just gonna open this and fold it um, where this edge and this edge are kind of that way. Anyway, we wanna make it as square, squared off as we can. And then I took this corner, fold it back on itself like this, and then you just open it up. And once you open it, um, you lay it flat and you have then this little um, what should my jig it? And then you just fold, bring the top down, and you're gonna fold down to about here, about a quarter of an inch down, so that your thing will tuck in there. And voila, there we go. Voila, we have got our cute little folded envelope. It can stay closed all by itself. I think I did something wrong on this, but it's cute. You get the basic idea of it. Um, and it works, so I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna see if I can fix that, but that's the basic construct. And I kind of went by the seat of my pants because what I normally do is I just fold it over like this, and then I fold this down, and I glue this flap down Okay, I'm just gonna show you how I normally do things. 
Levi, Levi. Look at, look at me. Yep, you're so cute. Good job. Okay, so I'm going to take the other half of that paper and I'm going to square it off again. Now, as long as you have a square piece of paper, you can use any size. It doesn't have to be anything in particular. So for this one, oh, I remember how to do that one properly, but let's just do an original envelope. Um, I'm gonna line my point, I'm lining my point up on this line, and then I'm lining this bottom on one of these bigger lines like this, so that when I fold my edges in, I can get them to be about the same size on each side. So I have one there, and we'll put the other one right here. And by measuring that, we should have pretty close. I mean, it's not perfect, but I don't live in the land of perfection. All right, now we've got this basic shape. What you do, what you can do is open this first flap and just fold it down like that and then grab a little bit of glue I'm just gonna use my fabric fix because I've got it sitting here I'm going to put glue down on this side and glue it there. this one glue it and you bet you guessed it this side too There we go. So now our envelope is a true envelope. And oh, I forgot about this open piece here. So actually, no, I'm not gonna do anything with that because that open piece right there, I can use for a tuck. So I can take a tiny tag or something and tuck it in there. And then I can also put something in the envelope like this. Um, and then I also have a tiny opening over here on this side as well. I may not utilize it because it may be glued shut, but we can put something cute in there, just something small, something little, nothing too serious. Put it in there like that. And, uh, and then you can have this fold closed as well. And uh, then they can open it and they can get a little tree out of here and then they can have a little something in there. Put that off to the side and we can and you know you can do a lot of things with these little envelopes um, for your journals so this is the food journal that I made for myself and it got wet so that sucks but whatever um, my my doctor gave me a thing that I need to follow so um, basically what you can do with these though is you can like glue them down to the page like this you could glue a U shape and create it where you have another pocket back here so you have a pocket here you have a pocket here and then you'd have that other pocket right here or you can just glue the whole thing down and have the two pockets um, or you could just take the thing and not glue it you could just you know paper clip it wow paper clip it to a page like that um, that would be cute too um, you could just have it hang over like this and then paper clip it. There's lots of things that you can do with these little things and they're cute. So you can even not glue it. So let's not glue the next one. Let's make another one where we don't glue it. And um, that was gonna be a book plate and I uh, <laughs> wrecked it. Okay, so. Same concept, I'm just gonna trim this side and this side this time, since it's kind of a little snaggle tooth over here. But you could make these not glue them together and then they can fold open and whoever's using your journal can use it to have like a private writing space if they want or a little secret, they could put their favorite quote, they could write down, you know, something they don't want other people to know or find out about, like just whatever. There's a million and one things that they can do. So now, another way to do an envelope is, so we have it folded in half like this. 
I'm going to open this up a bit and I'm actually going to make another fold. And I'm what I'm doing is I'm trying to line this point and this point up with this line right here. And I want the corners down here that's fold to line up. So hopefully it'll all be pretty straight, okay? That's the best way I can describe that. And it doesn't have to be perfect, it can. Um, if, if you don't, if you don't get it close, it'll be a little ski wampus, but in my land, we like ski wampus. Now you have options. You can fold this back this way. Um, I am going to fold it in this way this time. Wait, yes, yes, is that what I was going to do? Where was it? Yeah. Oh, no, I can't remember. I can't remember. Okay, I'm gonna fold the sides first. What am I doing? What am I doing wrong? <laughs> Let me show you. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, whatever. I'm just gonna do it regular because it's just easier for my mind to process, I think. <laughs> Just to do a plain old regular envelope and then, you know, maybe later on turn it into something more. But I do like these little things. I think they're just so cute. And Pam at the Paper Outpost. I remember she did like a tutorial on how to make envelopes that were more like this, but they weren't so messy like mine is. I don't know how to... Oh, maybe I do know. So there's just another cute one. I can just clip that one. We could even use it as like a corner. Put it like on the corner of a page like this. And then just put a paper clip right there. And then they pull it off. They have a cute little envelope or something. This I'm really shaky, sorry. I haven't had any coffee though, so that's weird. All right. Now, I think that what, sh what I did was right where she took this and folded it down just a bit and then now can you see how one side is a little crazy I'm just gonna fix that right here and now there we go okay now I think what she did was she went and folded these in. Like that. And then she made a fold right here of this one, but she put it inside like this. Okay, so now we've got this, and then she still folded this, well, no, because then there's the weird shaped beak. Oh, I still have no idea what I'm doing. Hmm. Interesting. I'll get it, don't you worry. Um, this one I'm going to go ahead and just glue together, because why not, but I will figure it out. Don't you fret, my friend. My friends. Oh, shoot. I didn't need glue right there. <laughs> anyway, that way is cute too because then you don't have the white like this one. How that's got white. You've got that color all the way around. And if you want to get real bougie with it, you could grab your dauber and just kind of ink up the folds. So you can really see what's going on. 
like that. That looks cute. Ink around the edges. Pretty. And then we've got another envelope here. And we can just go ahead and fold it down. Oh, so my ink, I'm just using black soot distress ink from Tim Holtz. Ranger ink brand. Um, now, we've made some envelopes. I want to, some that I really like to make with my paper scraps are like clusters. Pam at the Paper Outpost has this idea, but I think it's awesome, especially for like if you are, you know, you want to distribute your journals out into the world because you can take some of the scraps that you've already used throughout that journal or the theme of that journal and you can put them in the back in the journal for whoever becomes the owner of the journal they can take these scraps and use them in the journal somehow some way um, and kind of keep it all the same if, if they want to and it's just basically just putting scrap bundles together and that's pretty much all it is so I'm going to grab some that are like, I'm trying to find some that are similar in ways. Okay, hang on a minute. All right, I just got a good idea. So we'll do that one, that one, and this one. And we can do this one like over to the side like this and fold this in half like that. And I really like this idea because now I can take this and if I need to jot a little note or something or like if I get an idea throughout the day, I could just jot it down in here and like tape it into my journal or just save it for later, rip it out and take it with me if I need to go somewhere. Um, lots of options for these. And you can either sew across the top here, just like soup so or you can staple it and then cover it with something like you know just put something over the staples um, which I think I'll do that method if I can find my stapler my desk is already a mess again it's never is not a mess I feel like I feel like if it's not a mess it's only just not a mess for a minute and then it's a mess again okay so two staples at the top and then I'll put this over and then we'll have this cute little booklet of little pages that we can tear away or add back into our journal somehow if we want to. And these are good things to tuck into pockets and stuff. Sometimes I find myself making a ton of pockets and then not knowing what to put in those pockets. And these are one of my favorite things to put in the pockets. And that way we're utilizing our scraps and all of our little waste and stuff like that. So I got this idea, like I said, Pam at the Paper Outpost. She's, she's the master. Um, I am just somebody that likes to have friends. <laughs> Um, okay, scissors. There's my little snippers. Snip, snip. All right. Cute. So there's another little thing we made. And then what else can we do here? So I want to make... Okay, so let's see, what can we do with this? I think I'll make another, another thing. Let me think, how does it go? Like, fold it this way to make a square. I'm gonna fix that fold so I don't have to make two cuts. And then now that I've got this triangle folded and it's a square, I'm going to open it up and fold it so our line's up and down. I'm going to fold it this way. And then I'm going to fold it up like this. And I'm going to make one last fold 
this way. Can you see those folds? I hope you can see. All right, so you should have something that looks like this. Sorry, I'm just highlighting it a bit so you can see what I've done here. All right, so those are my folds. Now I'm going to fold in this side and this side, okay? I want them to fold into each other like this. And when that happens, these ones, okay, hang on, how did this, hang on. What am I thinking here? Am I missing a step? Maybe I'm missing something. Oh, there we go. Okay. So grab one of your squares and fold it up to another square like that. And then you fold this one up. Okay. So in and in and then like that. And then you can, um, you can like fold these up as well if you want. And just leave one side like that. Um, but these are cute to put on the corners of book pages again. Corner or just clip it onto a page. You can put it on the corner like this in a journal and clip it. You can just clip it onto a page. Um, technically you could glue one side down like this and it can open and close open and close like that. So I'm going to show you one more time how we got this to close. Okay. So it's flat. This there's a square here and the one diagonal from it, I'm going to fold, or sorry. So the one diagonal, I'm going to fold those together like this. And if I close them shut, they should go up to the point. Okay. Close them shut up to this bottom square and then you're creating a square. And by folding this back, if you wanted to glue it down to a page, you can then have a cute little um, writing space. And you don't have to, you know, ink the little folds like I have. Shall we do another one of those? Just for giggles. So we have a square, you fold it this way, open, and then you fold this corner to this corner, and once you've folded the corners to each other, you then open it again and fold the sides, the opposite sides to each other, like that, okay, folding this way. Now, I think you can kind of see the things on this side. So what I'm doing is I'm going to fold these up like this, and then I'll fold it up like that. Same for the other side. We've got this, we're folding like that. And then we've got this open, it looks like a bird beak. And we fold that flat. And then we can fold this side up like this. Now if we glue that down, we'll see the writing instead of the white part. But you could still probably write on the white part. Um, and then when you fold it shut, It'll still be hidden if you want it to be like secret message or something. All right, so that's a few different things that I like to do with my scraps. Um, a lot of times I'll use these like, you know, on 
for numerous different things like if I think about it when I'm making stuff but these are just a few little things like that you can make a bunch of and you know throw into on into your um, journals as you go and um, it doesn't take very long to make them and <laughs> Um, so thanks so much for hanging out with me. I had a lot of fun with you guys. Um, if you like hanging out with me and you like seeing, getting ideas for junk journals or whatever, just uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. You'll, if you go to the notification bell and turn on notifications for my videos, as soon as they come out, you will be notified to your phone and then you'll get to see whatever footage I'm putting up next. And then um, I do have a Facebook and an Instagram. I also have an Etsy store. Um, there's only a few things in my Etsy store right now, but I have really cute um, bumblebee journal kits that are in there. So if you're interested in something like that. And then, um, yeah, so thanks so much for hanging out with me. This is all the stuff we made today. And for, you know, 26 minutes, I think, I think that's not so bad. So thanks for watching and hanging out with me. Have a wonderful day. Bye.